Hi and welcome to Communicate School of English and this is our IELTS reading overview video. So how long is IELTS? Well, it has three texts, there are 40 questions and it takes about 60 minutes. Now that means that you have only 20 minutes per text so you need to be quick and you need to have really good reading skills. Now remember that you don't have any extra time at the end of the test to transfer your answers to the answer sheet. So you must write them on the answer sheet as you do the test. Lots of different question types in reading. So it's important to know how to do each of them. The first type is multiple choice questions. You have a question or a statement and four options to choose from. Short answer questions where you can answer in no more than three words. Sentence completion questions. And you will have either the start or the end of the sentence and you need to match it with some options. Notes or a summary or a flowchart or a table completion. These are often figures, dates and numbers. A diagram label completion. A diagram with some options to complete the information on the diagram. Classification. You'll have three or maybe four different things to classify and five or six questions. So you need to match the options with the questions. Matching questions. You'll have four or five questions and then some problems or some solutions to match with them. Choosing paragraph headings. Often the reading is separated into seven or eight paragraphs and you'll have an option of 12 or 13 or maybe even 14 different paragraph headings. You need to decide which heading goes with each paragraph. Now the difficult ones. Identification of the writer's claim. Yes, no, not given. Here you have to identify what the writer's opinion is. And finally, identification of information in the text. This is true, false or not given. So how can we become better at reading in the IELTS test? Well, the first skill is to skim read. Why should we skim read? Well, first of all, we skim to get a general idea or a gist of the text. The second reason is because it makes it easier to find our answers later on. How do we skim read? First of all, read the title. People often forget this. It's very important to read the title because it tells us what the text is about. Second, read the first paragraph. This serves as an introduction to the text, tells us what it's going to be about and often helps us decide what type of text it is. Next, read the first one or two lines of each paragraph. This will give you a general idea of what information is where. As you read, underline any key words or things that might help you find the information later on. Be an active reader. Next, you need to read the questions. As you read the questions, underline the key words in the question or the statement. For example, most animals are active during the daytime. Our key words here are animals and active. We need to look for these types of words in the text. Then scan the text for your keyword or a synonym of the keyword. Scanning means to look at the text quickly to find specific information. You don't need to read every word. So our keywords, animals and active. Let's think of some synonyms for these words. Animals could be creatures or wildlife. And active could be awake, lively, hunting, climbing. Lots of words that have a similar meaning. Then look at your question again. Now find any limiting words or contradictions which may affect your answer. Our question again, we've got most animals are active during the daytime. Our limiting words here are most, we have a quantifier, and daytime. In the text you may see some or none or nighttime or during the night. And this will help us decide our answer. Then read the text in a little bit more detail to be sure of your answer. You shouldn't be 
reading intensively at the start of the test, only to answer your questions. So, how to become better at the IELTS reading test? You need to read a lot. How can you be a better reader? First of all, read as much as you can. Read newspapers, journals, websites, novels, anything you can to increase your reading speed. Give it time. You can only improve so much each day, but the more you read, the better you will be. And finally, be an active reader. Make notes while you read. Record synonyms, paraphrasing and new words. This will help you to be an active reader. And good luck with your IELTS test. Thank you.